Hi, buddy. Today we are going to be playing Yep. Cause why not? And yeah, we're we're up against Fenrir. And I think I'm gonna try to go a Bumba's Hammer build because man, Geb with Bumba's Hammer and the new staff of Mirrodin, I wanna try it out. I wanna see how low our cooldowns can go, especially our two. However, the hard part is getting there. So we gotta we gotta get through the early game. The early game's a little rough, but late game should be incredible. So tier two Bancroft starting off with a beat against Fenrir. Unfortunately, I cannot cleanse myself of Fenrir all. I can cleanse teammates, but I don't see any teammates around. So we got to get beats. Um, I'm guessing he could go mannequins or something like that, but I have no idea. Uh, starting out on this map, I always try to ward my own red to see if they're starting it. If they are, then I go over and try to stop them. If they aren't, then I go for my blue buff. Although if they don't show themselves, then obviously, yeah, like if they do that, if they wait until the last second, then not much I can do about that, which is okay. Now, I think Geb is pretty good on this map because his one helps so much with rotating between all the buffs. Okay, we already pretty much cleared the wave. This Fender is in trouble. Oh, you do not want to do that. <laughs> you do not want to do that. In fact, if he backs, I get his red buff, so that's good for me. He's already so low. Yeah, are you going to back? Or what? what's going on? Are you kidding me, man? That didn't kill... I'm so sad. I thought that was going to kill. I was going to one auto attack and I thought that would kill and I'd be fine. And then once I realized he wasn't dead, I was going to get jumped on. It was just bad. Oh, well. That's okay. Sometimes, you know, sometimes a plan doesn't go, doesn't go the way I planned, if that makes sense. But if it did, it would have been cool and that's what matters. I will always try to go for the hype play if there's a chance of success because it's way more fun than sitting in the tower. And that's how we get plays. Right, Fenrir? Way more fun than sitting in the tower. That should have been an easy first blood too. Also, I have to back up because I don't have uh, beads anymore. Which means I have to try to use my ult to counter his ult. Which isn't really efficient. Like there, I couldn't really do it, which is okay. Did he just brutalize out of my three? Okay. Ooh, I want to go over there, but I can't because I have to kill the archers first. Ah, well, we'll give him the red buff. This is a really bad start, but if anything... That can make it more impressive if we come back. Because it's one thing to have a really good start and then keep that really good start the entire game. It's one thing if there's a little back back and forth in the game, you know? Nice. Gonna get a chalice. I mean, at the end of the day, we're not that far behind. But because he's rushed Runic Shield, it's gonna be pretty hard to get some kills. That's okay. Runic Shield's not as strong as it used to be. We are going to go auto attack hybrid on Geb. I think it's the best way to build him. Unfortunately, the only ability I have to cancel that is my ult. And I would like to save my ult for if he dives me. Otherwise, I'm not going to get a kill. Doesn't have too much mana, so I'm not too afraid, but, you know, gotta still play safe. Now, we will rotate over to him, if only because he doesn't have any, any mana. Or doesn't have that much. Nice, I got that. 
Uh, I can't actually do anything with it, but that's okay. That didn't even hit him, did it? Might have. Yeah, I think our next item will be some sort of ring. Now, red and blue buff are coming up. Hmm. I don't know how that's going to go. I think I have to give up red again. I mean, if I stayed for it, I think he would have came back and killed me. It's just too dangerous. Again, if he didn't have defense first item, wouldn't be that dangerous because then I would actually have enough damage to kill him. But because he had, does have defense and Fender naturally has high amount of damage, which I just can't. Which is okay. Good all. However, I'm super, super low health. Gives me more damage, but you know. Good turnaround. Good turnaround. I baited out his leap, and then he brutalized out, which he didn't have to. Uh, if he didn't brutalize out, I wouldn't have been able to go on him because I think his brutalize would have killed me before I could kill him. But because he did that, I mean, there was nothing up for him to do. So, all right, we're back. Now we're ahead, and we're ahead by a lot. So, it all worked out. It all worked out. Also, that little auto attack cancel I did in that fight uh, gave us just enough damage to kill him, which was nice. I'm guessing that's going to be a Brawler's, but we'll see. It could be a Jotun's. We now have some pen. Again, we are building to try to get Bumba's late game. I'm going to put a point in my three just because my three is kind of... I'm using it to absorb his uh, brutalized damage. So, good to keep that. We're also going to need anti-heal for his two. It's healing him way too much. Way too much. Oh, that was in range. Lucky. <laughs> he outweighted it. That's funny. Oh, he's gonna kill him with the brood lies. Nothing I can do. Nothing I can do. Brood lies hits for a thousand. Alright, now we get our defense. We're not out of this. We're not I mean, generally on this map. You're not out of it until like the 13 minute mark. That's when kills are getting kind of long enough where they can start taking Phoenix and end the game. But before then, the kills don't matter too much as long as as long as you're not, you know, trying to actively give your opponent kills. That'd be bad. But yeah, you could you could be pretty far down and still make a comeback. The buff control is the hard part, though. If he keeps buff control, it's hard for me to keep up. It's a shame his brood lies is, uh, it counters my three. That really, that really sucks. Or, I, excuse me, his brood lies counters my two. Because he's not coming in. Damn, his auto attacks hit hard too. Kind of want to stay because my alt combo could kill him. Might. I mean, it's not guaranteed. No, it did not kill him. Yikes. Yes! <laughs> the Bancroft's damage. Thank you. I love you, Bancroft's. And now, uh, red buff is up too, which is awesome. It's enhanced as well.
Yeah, I don't know. Uh, going auto attack Geb just seems like the way because if you don't go auto attack Geb, when your auto attack, when your abilities are down, it feels like you have nothing, like nothing at all. And with auto attacks, uh, if anything, that's your main source of damage. So then your opponent doesn't really have an opening to fight you, and you mostly just use your abilities to chain your auto attacks together. I don't know. That's how I see it. Dodge a leap. Cool. Oh, I missed. That's okay. Good damage. I'm doing a lot more to him than he is to me, so that's good. He did get that Brawlers, but that's okay. I'm not going mostly life still. I'm just getting Bancrofts for the damage, for the power. I do have my beads here, so it's, I'm fine to push up. Now, is he backing? Kind of don't want him to back. But not much I can do about that. Can put another point in my three. I haven't even been able to use the best part about Geb on this map, which is the fact that he can get to all these buffs super fast with his one between waves. I haven't been able to do that since I've been just kind of, uh, you know, fighting so much with the Fenrir. I should hold on to my two when he brutalizes. We're fine. He has Sunder too, though. And Sunder's going to get my shield. Ooh, I forgot about that. You know, sometimes it do be like that. Sometimes it do be like that. Still worth putting points in it, though. You cast under me all the time. Okay, uh, I'm thinking maybe a rod. Well, and then we we're going to need to start saving up for Bumba's Hammer around level 18. Level 18 seems to be... The right point where when you start saving up for Bumbas, you can afford it once you're level 20. Okay, we got blue buff. That's good. I was mostly prioritizing the wave there. Yeah, there's no way he fights me here. However, if I can delay his back. If I can delay his back, that's good. Yeah, because now I'm going to get an entire minion wave. And he's still trying to back, which if I could stop this back... Oh... If I could have stopped that back, that would have been so good, because then I'd have this entire minion wave. That's all right. Okay, uh, I forgot about Divine Rune, because now he's getting a Soul Eater, and I don't like that at all. We 100% need Divine Rune, but I also need a save for Bumpus Hammer, so... Hmm. All right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to upgrade my Relics instead, because I'm not going to be able to afford Rotatuti before getting before needing to save for uh, Bumba's Hammer. So instead I'm going to save, uh, buy my relics now, and then start saving now for Bumba's Hammer. Then after we get Bumba's Hammer, I can get Rod slash Divine Rune. That was a weird interaction. That happens with the uh, Bologna ult sometimes. I should be sundering him just like that, just for the percent health. But I don't know, sometimes I like to save it for when I'm doing my combo. I can cancel his leap every time like that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second, Fender. Can you not stun me if I do that every time? That changes everything. Oh, unless I waste it like that.
Ooh, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try saving my two for when he leaps. Because if I can cancel his stun every time, that's pretty good. Although, he might be able to stun me before I even get it off. I don't know. How much of this can I get with the buff? I might sacrifice my life, but I might not need to. Wow. Good stuff. That's a cool mechanic. I thought he would still get his stun and the damage, but then he would just get knocked up after, but that is not the case. Again, we are saving gold for Bumba's Hammer. And I also want Staff and Beard in, but <laughs> I don't know if we can fit that in after all. I shouldn't have got the rod. Should we either win Staff Mirrodin or Divine Rune? I'll try it out eventually. Maybe still this game, we'll see. No sir! No sir! No sir! Ooh, that late game though. He's dead for 30 seconds. I should be able to end, right? So I'm just saying, if I am able to end, I will. But then I promise I'll get a Geb game where I get Bumbas and Staff of Mirrodin. If I don't end, then hey, I can back it. <laughs> Bumbas right now. But man, Titan's kind of tanky. If I was a hunter, this would be over. There it is! If you guys enjoyed, please let me know. Uh, and if you could like and comment, subscribe, you know, that would that would help me out a lot. Um, yeah, no, awesome. I will promise to get you guys a, a Blackthorn... Or not a Blackthorn, why am I saying Blackthorn? A Bumba's Hammer Staff of Bearding game with Geb. I promise. But good game overall. That's really cool. The mechanic with uh, Geb's 2 and Fenrir's 1. It only happened once in that game. But if I use my 2 as he's leaping, when he lands, he gets knocked up. And he actually doesn't get the stun and the damage off. So that's really cool. Uh, if I ever have this matchup again, I'm going to use it for sure. And if you guys are playing Geb against Fenrir, now you guys know that as well. So uh, anyways... Uh, I'll see you guys next time, and thanks for watching.